So on the southeast wing, upper floor, we have a TV room, first of all. Massive TV. Must be a rather nice house to be in. <laughs> and just some little couches or such. You'll notice I use slabs as couches very frequently throughout here. And a chapel. Stained glass, vanilla, a nice little bench assembly, rustic lighting, statue of whatever your deity or such happens to be, and a nice mood-setting table in the center. Then you can also go out on the balcony here, have a nice view of, well, whatever scenery will eventually be around here, but that depends on just what mods we use and such later on. Hello, statue. Heading back, obviously, to the south wing. We had guest suites. And we could exit now. But this gives me an interesting opportunity to point out more things. Paintings, very good for just creating, you know, general scenery feel. A mansion like this would have quite a few of them. And the interior balcony. From any second floor, you have a view of the entire ballroom or stage, depending on which it's set up to be at the moment. And you can also, again, use this balcony, interior balcony, to travel from wing to wing. So there's our southeast wing again. Next, we'll explore the southwest wing, which lets me talk about a couple of different things. Most of the diagonal wings that have two different directions, like southwest, have something different here. So you'll notice the southwest wing has a greenhouse, where we have all kinds of different vanilla plants growing. And my own version of a sprinkler system, blue wool. Thank you, vanilla. Exiting the greenhouse, we have our medical office. Again, lots of different uses for lots of different vanilla blocks. And in the diagonal floors, we have a very interesting entrance to the to the square stone walls, which of course works both ways. And patients, in case there's a zombie apocalypse or something. We have beds for multiple people here. One of my trademarks here, I love using note blocks to make spiral staircases like this. Something about it. Don't really know what. Second floor of the southwest wing. Which room is this? Is this our chemistry lab? Yes, this is our chemistry lab. So, if we had a chemistry mod installed, cough, cough, immediate craft or later on, we could be doing all kinds of experiments and such in here. Plenty of storage as you can see also. And outside of there, well, actually, since we chemistry often requires a fume hood, as long as there's going to be one fireplace type thing, it was a perfect convenient coupling with the heart, which burned away my wool, but we'll fix that later. No, we can fix that right now. Well, actually, I'd have to fix it later on when I copy the schematic file. So here's just our regular fireplace, and again, another type of really comfy purple heart-shaped couches. You can sit and have a nice Christmas or whatever it is you want to do in front of the fire. And here I can take the opportunity to show using slabs we have a nice diagonal staircase. Huge diagonal staircase. The West Wing. Entertainment. So first of all we have simple bathrooms. Women need more stalls than the men here, you'll notice we're a little more adaptable. And this passageway just takes you from straight through there without necessarily going into any of the bathrooms through here. And notice, end stone, perfect bathroom tiling. Now, here we're in an entertainment room, media center, get your video games on. Here's our collection of video game titles. There's another TV some kind of system right here. Possibilities, possibilities. And a playroom for your younger toys and such. 
Again, nice little bit of interior decoration. Also, this brown wool, that usually means hardwood floors, or I was too lazy to replace it with something else, one or the other. Second floor of the West Wing, we have closets and supplementary bedrooms, so small bedrooms for residents. Computer table, bed, etc., etc. And there's another one of those right there. And we can show you the second hidden room, a pet room. You can imagine these are hamster cages or canary cages or feral hyena cages, whatever you wish. And we could exit onto the balcony and travel once again. The Northwest Wing. Heading outside, we have a... Oh, heavens, I'm not going to do this right now. We have a hedge mage, hedge maze, which, if I might say so myself, is quite good as it manages to confuse me even though... I built it, and even tried to memorize it. But if we do eventually get out of the hedge mage, hedge maze, we find ourselves in the calm, calming library. A different bit of scenery setting here, little couches, yellow, and lots of books. One knows what to expect when one goes into a library, after all. Again. Flower Child did these kind of tables with the mod Better Than Wolves very nicely, but Vanilla can handle it on its own for right now. And again, up the spiral staircase. And the second floor of the West Wing, we have our music... No, this is our studio, that's what it is. For the main owner of the building to have a quiet space to do his painting or piano playing or such. Uh, pianos like this work so much better on a straight angle. You'll see a piano later that's on a diagonal and just not quite as right. This one, I'm, again, great use of vanilla. Little couch. And as long as we're talking about the owner, we have an office for him. And that pretty much sums up the West Wing. Let's take the upper way this time, shall we? Or that was the Northwest Wing, because now we're in the North Wing. The North Wing is a little different. We have a giant staircase to show the pomp and splendor of the inhabitants of the wing. We have one of our hidden rooms here. I have Lego room written, but hell, it could be whatever you wish. Tables. Master bedroom. Now, notice, I have this cake night here for the conveyor belt, and I didn't want to move it. So I had a little something different for the door. A double trap door and wooden door, and it actually makes the door essentially three blocks high. And closable. Go away. If it's like this, or even if it's like this, I can't actually get through. So it's really like there's some kind of fancy oak door there or something. Master bedroom. Black and white. Fancy. Master closet, nothing to see with the closet, really. However, I do think we can take a brief trip outside because, ah yes, our treehouse. Didn't necessarily have to be with the master, but seemed a convenient place for it. And we've hidden a nice little assembly here, which is really not very noticeable besides the ladder. Back inside, shall we? Now, on the ground floor, you have all kinds of things in the North Wing. A sauna, spa type place. Again, notice vanilla materials. We have our music playing in the background. Our filters. Here's a master bathroom. Huge sink. Access to the walls again. A nice shower. Glass doors would be really nice. There wasn't really a way to duplicate that in vanilla. And on the other end, we have our water maintenance room. Pretty simple. Didn't quite know what all to do with it. Next, we have a nice little double entrance to those. If we were coming from the dining room, where we have multiple different tables set up, a couple different kinds, and access to a dumbwaiter in the side, which is actually 